If you like Isla Fisher, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy, you're amazing. Oh, God, I think you're amazing. Oh, my God, don't ever leave me. Ever. Good, because I'd find you. <laughs> we hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. What's behind you? Uh. Oh my god. Oh, it's a naked man. Oh, uh, sorry. Confessions of a Shopaholic is a romantic comedy film directed by PJ Hogan and stars Isla Fisher, Hugh Dancy, Joan Cusack, and John Goodman. Like many New York City gals, Rebecca loves shopping. Sadly, she loves shopping so much that she is in deep debt. Dreaming of becoming a fashion magazine columnist but having no chance of getting there, she is luckily surprised when offered the chance to write for a major company. A surprise hit overnight, now her shopaholicism may be the only thing in her way. Yes, and I am glad that you brought that up because I am furious. No, I really am. I mean, what is the story with the recent fish crisis? Number nine. I'm proposing, and don't laugh at me, that we put on Macbeth. Burke and Hare is a black comedy film directed by John Landis and stars Simon Pegg, Andy Serkis, Isla Fisher, and Tom Wilkinson. Cynical, crazy, and hilarious, Burke and Hare is the exceptionally absurd story of two 19th century opportunists who dream of the big money. But as their profitable business seems to be in danger, they must come up with a better plan to raise cash, become serial killers, and supply the cadavers to an anatomist. I'm talking about the first all-female production of a Shakespeare play. <laughs> oh, it costs money to put on a play, Jenny. None of us want to go back on the game. Never. Nobody's going back on the game. All we need is for a wealthy and discerning patron to take the bait. Number eight. Some couples go to strip clubs and have gangbangs. And this is just what we do. This is what we love. This is our gangbang. Tag is a comedy film directed by Jeff Tomsick and stars Ed Helms, Jake Johnson, Annabelle Wallace, Hannibal Burris, Isla Fisher. Rashida Jones, John Hamm, and Jeremy Renner. Having a young mind, even in higher age, is a beautiful thing, but when too excessive, it is maybe a little absurd. This is true for five high school friends who hit the playground yearly and let loose all of their relationships and jobs to play a massive game of tag. And this year's victim is the only undefeated player. Well, they came up with the rules when they were nine, no girls allowed, and to be honest, I can get a little overly aggressive and competitive sometimes. Come on, Gary. You can't be. Ah! Keep your eyes down, Fields! Cut across the fourth fairway! Don't fuck this up! Number seven. We have a new crew member today, Denise. Hi, everyone. Hot Rod is a comedy film directed by Akiva Schaefer and stars Andy Samberg, Isla Fisher, Jorma Tacone, and Bill Hader. With a cynical father-son dynamic, but a charming main protagonist, Hot Rod follows young douchebag Rod Kimball, who thinks of stunts as a way of life, even though he is rather accident-prone. Beaten by his unloving stepfather in weekly sparring matches, he wants to make his most outrageous stunt yet to kick his father's butt. Denise, this is the crew. Dave's the mechanic, Rico makes the ramps, and Kevin is team manager slash videographer. None of them party, right? Got it? Okay, let's party. Number six. I'm not really in the mood for this. Ow! Jesus Christ! Wedding Crashers is a romantic comedy film directed by David Dobkin and stars Owen Wilson, Vince Vaughn, Christopher Walken, Rachel McAdams, Isla Fisher, and Bradley Cooper. Buddies Jeremy and John spend their days enjoying crashing wedding receptions. For the irresponsible duo, there is nothing better than to drink for free and hook up with lonesome women. But when one of them catches the eye of a beautiful bridesmaid, their plans may change faster than one can blink. The decision between love or friendship remains. Ow! Ow! No! Wait, wait! It's just that I'm feeling very strongly that we're only starting to express ourselves in a physical, sexual, specifically way. That's it! Way! And I'd like to... Play some catch up on finding out who's inside here. 
Okay? Number five. Chris Pratt? Yeah. My friend would like to buy you a drink. The Lookout is a crime film written and directed by Scott Frank and stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Jeff Daniels, Carla Gugino, Matthew Good, and Isla Fisher. Combining a thrilling heist movie with themes of film noir and tragic backstory, The Lookout follows a star athlete with the word at his feet. But when a car crash leaves him brain damaged, his future crumbles in front of his eyes. Desperate for hope, he gives in to his buddies who plan to rob a bank, a one-way route to hell. Got your name. Again? Lovely. L-U-V-L-E-E. -E. Lovely. Now you remember me. Number four. If it's business, you should be talking to me. Get some chairs, why don't you, so somebody can sit down. The Great Gatsby is a romantic drama film directed by Baz Luhrmann and stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire, Carrie Mulligan, Joel Edgerton, and Isla Fisher. Defined by gripping visuals and with a leading cast that exceeds any expectation and will simply leave you in awe, The Great Gatsby tells the modern tale of a rich but deeply mysterious man. With a past that seems full of contradictions and heroic stories, it lurks to the attention of a young protege who gives himself the mission of solving the riddle of The Great Gatsby. Get on the next train. Now? Yes. Can we get the dog for the apartment? Whatever you want. Mr. Buchanan, you want, a, you want a soda? Uh, I'm fine. No? Number three. You're the toilet paper guy. Wait, who's that? That's April. Yes. Definitely Maybe is a 2008 romantic love puzzle by Adam Brooks with Ryan Reynolds, Isla Fisher, Rachel Weisz, and Abigail Breslin. Set in New York City during the 1990s, the film is about Will Hayes, who tries to help his 11-year-old daughter understand his impending divorce by telling her the story of his past romantic relationships and how he ended up marrying her mother. Setting off a hearty comedy about the romantic entanglements with three women, Will realizes that he may still have a chance at a happy ending. What do I know about missile systems or social security or the tax code? What about civil rights or... Uh women's rights, a woman's right to do what she wants with her body. What about that? I do what I want with my body. Number two. One, two, three. <laughs> the film covers an elite FBI team in a cat and mouse game against the Four Horsemen, one of the world's most illustrious super teams. Now You See Me is a 2013 heist thriller film directed by Louis Leterrier and stars Mark Ruffalo, Jesse Eisenberg, Isla Fisher, David Franco, and Woody Harrelson. The four riders perform a series of bold robberies against corrupt corporate bosses during their performances, raining stolen earrings at their hearings while staying one step ahead of the law. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Take me, darling. <gasps> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shoot, honey. What's the conversation piece? Don't worry about it. So, uh, what did your mom say? Oh yeah. Um. Well, she um. I was thinking that we could we could go over there and 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 and, and meet them before we get married. If you want to put a label on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need you back here in Miami. I need my husband. Eh, civilization. Come on, and I need help with the wedding. Well, I mean, do you really? Heather and I need you to come back home. Number one. It's okay. Don't get out the car. I'm not getting out of the car, sweetheart. Nocturnal Animals is a 2016 neo-noir psychological thriller film written, produced, and directed by Tom Ford and stars Amy Adams, Jake Gyllenhaal, Michael Shannon, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Isla Fisher. Susan Morrow is an elegant gallery owner from Los Angeles and married to a successful businessman. The mess, however, is all inside. 
When she receives a manuscript of a novel written by her first husband, the gritty content of the novel strikes a chord with her, and she starts to remember the times they had together. You must have busted when you were shoving us off the road. Oh, come we didn't on. shove you off the road, you shoved us off the road. It's a lie. I think I'm a liar. It's okay. It's okay. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.